is the Skull & Co grip case any good? Let's find out. So if you're like me and you find that the Joy-Cons are a little bit kind of crampy, well then you might be looking for a grip or like a grip case or some sort of protection for it or whatever. And well, that's what Skull & Co have made. They've made a grip case. It's like a see-through transparent rubbery like plastic texture thing that goes around the entirety of the Switch. And it also has like side rails that you can put hand grips on to kind of like help stop you getting like uncomfortable whilst playing handheld and that's what we're going to check out skull and co did send this over for free but i'm under no obligation to sway my opinion i am always honest and you would know that if you're subscribed so go down there and subscribe as well and yes we have looked at the neo grip as well so if you haven't seen that video go check that it's slightly different but definitely check that video out but yeah this is how we got sent this but we did get sent literally just the case so open this up we did get a free oled no no i didn't actually it's kind of just like a thing with a horrible noise and let's throw all this away so this is it this is the grip case right so like i said it's kind of like a transparent rubbery like plastic and well your switch goes inside it so it does offer some protection so you kind of like put it in i'll show you that in a second but then we get these rails as well i'm not sure how that will show up on camera but you've got these like plasticky rails on the edges and those are for the grips so if you put this in well it's not any different than just playing on the switch right but that's where these come in so we've got all of these and these are different kind of grips that slide onto those rails to offer you more like support and there's different types of them as well so you've got the small ones i just showed you you've got these larger ones with like a trigger design so you can kind of like rest your fingers on it and also you've got like the super large ones as well that give you way better ergonomics whilst using it and i'll show you how to use all this in a second so now let's get our switch and stick it in there. So I'm gonna put these kind of shoulder things back on. I think it went on that side, right? Yeah, so that's that side and then that's this side. And these just kind of like come in and out. Let me show you. So up on the top, there's holes. So you could really just get rid of these, I think, or you can put these in and that's, oh, the wrong way around, Andy. Or you could put these in the right way around and that kind of like goes over the shoulder buttons. So the way to put this in, and I find this incredibly awkward, I must admit, is to put the top shoulder buttons in first and you kind of need to like squish it in and then you kind of like pop the corners in and then that's kind of it. Now, I don't feel like it fits very well. Like, I don't know, like look at that. There's like a big old bump there. And no matter how I like jiggle this area, it just kind of always feels like that. Let's just kind of like, move this over a little bit see if that kind of helps but no nah, not massively so anyway that kind of i don't know i don't know i'm not sure how i feel about this so you've got like the shoulder buttons that are covered so these aren't actually the shoulder buttons these are like those things that go over so i guess you get a bit of protection but i'd rather just use the shoulder buttons themselves i don't want to use these like plastic things over the top they just feel like they add more like delay to the button because you have to kind of press that which then presses the button for you so i don't know how i feel about that i mean everything's all etched out if you look and on the top there you've got like rubber bits for the buttons so the power button and the, the like uh, volume button and you've got the vents cut out and the ports as well and on the back you've got that like kind of little bit because this is supposedly dockable so you can dock this now in the case in the box hang on let me grab it so you get this and in here you get this now these are supposedly little slips that you're going to put inside the switch oled dock and that's because the dock rails on either side could get stuck with this like rubbery material so they're saying put these on first and then this will slide in a little bit better so i mean yeah okay i've not bothered i'm not going to dock it with it but it is possible supposedly so now that we got our switch in there like i said it does offer some protection because it completely covers it it's not going to be like massive protection it's more like protection 
protection against scratches. But I do have to say stuff like this, if you end up getting dirt or dust inside the case, that's gonna scratch it. Have you ever had a phone case on like this, like that plasticky rubber, and then you've taken the phone case off after like two years and it's all scratched? Well, that's because dust and dirt can get in there and actually cause scratching. So it's not my favorite design. It could protect it, providing that you keep it clean. But anyway, these kind of like areas on the back here, let me show you uh, the small grips first. So what you do is you get these grips and basically, you have to like push down. You, you have to make sure it's on there properly because the amount of times I've gone to try and slide them on and they're not actually like going on. You have to kind of make sure that's completely flat and then push it up and it slides into place like that. And then the same on the other side, just push it up and it slides into place like that. And there you go, you've got a couple of grips just here. So that's kind of cool. This one's very, very mild and you can just kind of like put your hands on it like that. And well, it's kind of cool, but maybe for small hands, it's not for me really. So let's take these off. And then we've got the larger ones, which have like the, um, uh, the like shoulder grip thing on. So if I put these on like so, well then you've got these kind of like bigger grips which definitely fit better for me because they give you way better ergonomics because instead of your hands being cramped up like this they give you better ergonomics for your thumb and your wrists but again i really don't really like those kind of shoulder button things i just don't like it but anyway let's take these ones off and then what we have is the larger ones so the larger ones just slide up now this one doesn't is it the right side yeah there we go now it wants to go on and the same with the other side just there. So these are my favorite because these are the much larger ones. They give you way better ergonomics, as you can see, and they just fit your hands better. They flare out more, as you can see just here, which gives you a way better angle for your wrists and your thumbs, which give you way better accuracy. So these are my absolute favorites. I really, really like these. These are my like favorite ones out of all of the grips that you can get, and they definitely feel nice. You know, like I just like how these feel. It's way more supported. And overall, as a grip, like this works great. I love these like uh, side grips that are replaceable because you can really tailor in what you like. Like you can use any of them. You could even swap it up and use like one on one side, one on the other, or you could have like a mini one on the other side or whatever. You don't have to use them together. So you can really customize these. But I'm not a big fan of this kind of like, like sticky, like rubbery thing. I know some people like it, but it's just not for me. Now for me, I'd much prefer to use the Neo Grip by Skull & Co. I think that's much better, but it is a little bit more expensive. But you know, like, well, thinking about it, I don't think it is, at least here in the UK. And I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, but yeah, so, Meh, like if you want a bit of protection, well then this is probably gonna be better. It's not gonna protect against falls or drops. I'm not a big fan of those kind of like shoulder button like covers, just not a big fan of that. And again, I'm worried that you could get dirt in there and end up scratching your switch, which I definitely don't want to have. Again, I'd much rather opt for the Neo Grip by Skull & Co. But this is, this is pretty good, you know? Like it's great to have that kind of like full coverage with the grip support. I do like that. but just overall, I much prefer the Neo Grip. So how much is one of these? Well, you can buy just the grip, like, you know, just the case without the shoulder pieces for, I think it's like $12 or something. Then you're looking at around $20 for the set with all of this. And then I think it's about $40 for a case and everything else as well. And now here in the UK, on Amazon at least, you can just buy the case with the grips for 20 pounds. And then I think it's about 35 for a big old case included as well. Do I think that's worth it? Yeah, kind of. I do think the Neo Grip is better value because I'm pretty sure I saw the Neo Grip for less than 20 pounds and I prefer that. So that's actually cheaper than this. And I would much recommend, like highly recommend that over this. But if you prefer the whole like full coverage, well then, this is probably gonna be the one for you. But if you haven't seen it already, well then go and check out this video, which is about the Skull & Co Neo Grip. So go and check that out. That's the one I prefer myself. Oh, and subscribe first, definitely subscribe. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of the Skull & Co Neo Grip and the grip case that we've looked at today.